liftoff of the Atlas V, launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast, and NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. Touchdown confirmed. animation that um, that uh, we're bringing up here shows the latest uh, large Mars quake that we uh, obtained just about about two weeks ago uh, and this was the biggest uh, event of the of the mission uh, it's a magnitude 5 event the biggest thing that we've seen uh, before that was the magnitude 4 which is almost 10 times smaller Basically, we've been able to map out the inside of Mars for the very first time in history. Uh, we're able to get the uh, size of the core. We're able to, to deduce something about its density and, therefore, the composition of the core. We've uh, uh, detected the uh, bottom of the crust, and we're able to, uh, de to uh, determine the thickness of the, the Martian crust. And we've been able to probe the, the mantle of, the, of, of Mars, uh, of, and be, we're able to, uh, to do something about its temperature structure and its, uh, and its uh, mineralogical structure. You see on the left-hand side here, this is a selfie that was taken of the lander when we first landed back in November of 2018. So that was three and a half years ago. You see the solar panels are nice and black. Um, that allows us to collect energy from the, the, the sun there. And you can see upon landing, we we're approximately about uh, 5,000 watt hours per sol for available energy to do our operations. Good news is we, we learned something new about the soil of Mars. Uh, the bad news is we weren't able to get down more than just to, to, to be able to, to bury the mole itself. And we weren't able to get our heat flow measurement that, that we had wanted to get. Um, we we're still able to do a lot of uh, sci uh, science with the mole, get uh, some thermal measurements and physical measurements on the soil itself. But you know, getting not being able to get that heat flow measurement was probably the, the biggest disappointment uh, of, of the mission. But it takes daily global images of Mars. On the right, you see feature that created by this impactor. In December of last year, a meet struck Mars and created the largest fresh impact crater we have observed in 16 years of MRO mission. Mars atmosphere, it creates a muck cone. And as a result of it, you see dust return. When we compare seismic epicenter with location that we pinpointed from the orbit and the time, we were able to match this large seismic event to our large impact crater. This is by far the largest jointly observed crater recorded seismically and observed from the, the image, from the orbit. So it was very exciting to be able to witness this event and to be lucky enough to, a whole lot of water ice had been exposed by this impact. Our video of the 3D data, boulder sized chunks of ice in the crater's ejecta observed up until now. This is a huge opportunity to study a really large impact event from both